see you guys again. I am going to give you guys some spring beauty tips. So, oh, I want to tell you guys some really exciting news that's been going on. First of all, I made my own website. What? It would mean the world to me if you guys went down below to the link. It's called itsmandarin.net. .net just makes it sound really weird. <laughs> what I'm planning is to just post my favorite recipes and just a lot of lifestyle stuff too on this website and it's all completely free so all you have to do is click on the link below and there will be a um, I think like a subscribe button or something or like follow what that will do is it'll just send you email notifications every time uh, I do a post on the website so please do that it would mean the world to me I already have my first recipe on there it's baked fries and guacamole so it's super super good so definitely check that out also I just recently posted a new vlog I know I don't really vlog a lot and if you guys didn't know I actually have a vlogging channel weird I know <laughs> the recent vlog that I just posted was my um, trip to Miami with my best friend it was super super fun so definitely check that out my um, vlogging channel is just called it's Mandarin vlogs and it would also mean the world to me if you guys subscribe to that channel so yeah that's pretty much what I wanted to say so let's hop into the video so first of all sorry about the lighting the lighting is just really bad because my room has a like, huge huge window so when the sun goes it gets darker and then when it comes back I look yellow let's just deal with it <laughs> so my first tip is to look sun-kissed and what I mean by that is just spring is all about Sun like the Sun's coming back and you really want to look bronzed I've really been loving this logo it's a gradual self tanner and this is by first aid beauty if you guys aren't familiar with first aid beauty it's just one of the brands that they sell in Sephora and something that really surprised me was that this brand is cruelty free and most of their products are actually vegan if you guys want to know which products aren't vegan I will list that down below if you guys are interested but this self tanner is vegan and I really love it. If I have a shirt that's like this, like it shows off my shoulders or something like that, I really want to look tan and just glowy. My belly is super white and so are my, like, my legs and my thighs, so this comes in handy for that. Thank you. And then bronzers. I have a lot of favorite bronzers, but the ones I'm specifically going to show you are the ones I've been using a lot and have just have been loving. So one of my favorites is this O Natural Foundation. This was a mistake. I was supposed to get my face color, but I ended up getting a color that was way darker, and I feel like it has a really warm undertone and I think that's why it works so well with my skin tone is because I have warm undertones and so when I add it it just looks like a really natural bronze and since it's a powder foundation when you add it to your face it blends super super nicely and it just really adds some depth to your foundation so I super highly recommend the O Natural foundation and something I've really been loving is my Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil I didn't use it today on my face but I really really love it and the smell Ugh. It smells amazing, so I really love this as well. This is what I was talking about. I'm yellow. Like, I'm yellow now. So, something that's really been popular this spring are faux freckles. And I know you guys have probably seen this if you guys follow, like, a lot of beauty YouTubers. A lot of them have been doing, like, faux freckles and stuff. The way I achieve it is through this, like, Pacifica eyeliner. And I really love this one because it's creamy enough so I, that I could apply it. And then I could buff it out with my finger. And it just looks really natural. And this one's in, I think it's called fringe. It's like a dark brown, but when you apply it to the skin, it's more, more of a light brown so I really really like this I love faux freckles I think they're super cute and I think they're really cool for the spring my friends hate them they think they look super tacky especially on me they're definitely just like a hit or miss like you either like them or you don't I think it's just makeup so definitely experiment and try it out because I think it's really cool my next tip that is looking highlighted and glowy what I use to keep my skin healthy is <laughs> I really love this face brush that I got from Vanity Planet. If you guys watch tons of beauty YouTubers, then you guys have probably seen this brush everywhere because I feel like a lot of YouTubers have it because it's just so amazing. It comes with a lot of different brush heads. It has this one, which is the one that you could use daily. And they have one that's more harsh if you really want to exfoliate your face. They have one that's for your feet to take off any dead skin, which I really need if you're in college and you walk everywhere you know how nasty your feet can get you feel me <laughs> and then it comes with a really big one that you can use to scrub the rest of your body I will include this brush in a lot of future videos because I use it a lot and something I also really really love is this face mask by Lani Lani I don't know how to say the name this is their tropical cacao detox mask and I absolutely love it it smells like chocolate and it comes in a powder form so what you do is you just add some drops of water it actually turns into a mousse it's super super cool when I have a clean face I just add it all over and I leave it on for 
around 20 to 30 minutes, sometimes even longer. It feels tingly on your face. It feels really cool. And then I'll just rinse it off. And it makes your skin feel so, so, so soft. It's really been saving my life. I love this cacao mask. It's so awesome. And highlighters, which you guys have probably been waiting for. I love highlighters, especially in the springtime because dewy skin is really in during the spring. I'm going to be showing you guys two of my favorite highlighters. I love a bunch of highlighters, but these two ones are the ones I've been using a lot. This is the one I used today. This is the O Natural Cosmetics Highlighter, and this is in Begonia. And I absolutely love it. It looks pink in the container itself, but when you apply it to your cheekbones, it looks gold and shimmery. It's a super fine powder, so when you add it to your face, there aren't going to be huge specks of glitter. It's going to be super fine and gold, and you're just going to look like a golden goddess. Yes, please. So I really love this O Natural Cosmetics highlighter. And one that's been super popular with everybody is the Becca highlighter. And this one's in Champagne Pop. I think that's the name of it. It's by Jaclyn Hill. I absolutely love it. They honestly look the exact same on my face. I think that's why I like them so much. They both have like a goldish undertone. So I really love both of these highlighters. I think they're amazing. Also, take care of your hair. Your hair can get really dry in the sun. So things that I've been loving are doing hair masks. One of my favorite hair masks lately has been this one by Lonnie. It's their tropical hair treatment and it's super, super nice on the hair. It made my hair feel super, super smooth and it's just been saving my hair's life. I massage it in my roots, I put it all over my ends, and then on top of that, I'll grab this coconut oil and this one's by Kopari. So I'll grab some of this coconut oil, I'll melt it in my hands a bit, and then I'll put it all over my ends and it makes it feel super smooth and like just super nice. Leave that in my hair for like 30 minutes or more, the more the better. And then after that, I'll just shampoo it twice in the shower and it leaves your hair feeling super soft once it's all dry. So I highly recommend these. I think they're amazing. Oh God, I'm yellow again. And then lips. Lips are definitely my favorite. Matte liquid lipsticks are definitely, definitely popular. Whether it's Anastasia Beverly Hills, ColourPop, the Kylie liquid lipsticks, everything about matte liquid lipsticks is just super popular in the makeup world. But I feel like for spring specifically, it's moving more towards natural everyday makeup. I think glossy lips are super, super pretty. The combo that I've been loving is using the ColourPop liquid lipstick and this one's in Brink. It's just a really natural light pink color. The lip gloss I'm wearing today and one that I've been loving so much is the NYX Butter Gloss and this one's in Tiramisu. I love this one so much. I love to focus it on the center of my lips so I'll like put it on the center and then I'll do like a like a kind of like a V on the top upper lip. This lip gloss is super moisturizing. It's really buttery and it feels super smooth on your lips so I highly recommend this lip gloss. So I've like been doing my research and apparently the color blue has been really popular for the spring. I'm really bad with like outfits and that kind of stuff so I don't really know like what color is in and what shirt is in you know like that kind of stuff so when I saw that blue was in I was like you know what I have like one blue shirt so I'm wearing it right now you know just to get in the mood for spring and I'm a huge fan of like minimal jewelry just like really simple jewelry so the um, necklace I'm wearing is just like a simple little rock my cousin got this for me I think she got it at a store called world market and as for my watch I have posted this watch literally everywhere I posted it on Instagram I've even posted it on my vlogging channel and it's because like I'm not paid to say this I honestly really really love this watch it's my Daniel Wellington watch and perfect for the spring it's in navy blue so there you go so Daniel Wellington was really nice enough to give me a coupon for you guys if you guys use the coupon code it's mandarin 15 it gives you 15% off on all the watches and both the straps on their website. The code expires until May 15th, so you guys have until then to get 15% off at any watch that you want. I really love this watch specifically because I feel like it, it goes a lot with a lot of my classier outfits. I don't wear this every day when I go to class and I wear yoga pants and a hoodie. I wear this one like, you know, I try to get a little bit dressed up, you know you feel. This company does sell leather straps. I think it's really cool if you guys went out and bought this, like bought this watch. Not this, you don't have to buy this strap or this style watch specifically, but if you buy a strap that non-leather then that company will know hey like a lot of people like 
straps that aren't real leather. Buy these kinds of straps and just show them that, hey, us vegans want more options. So yeah, there you go. Love this watch. And the way I'm pairing it with my outfit is really straightforward. I have a blue shirt and this watch has a blue strap. So I feel like it went together. But since this watch is so simple, I would honestly wear this with like a, like a bright yellow shirt, some floral shirt, just something that's like not over the top and just needs like a little bit extra, I would definitely wear this watch. Okay, you guys, and that were, that's, those were, <laughs> those were all of my tips for spring. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Please subscribe to my vlogging channel. It would mean the world to me. And I'm actually going to a 1975 concert next week and I'm planning on vlogging. It'll be in Berkeley. So look out for that and check out my website because it's going to be super exciting and I want you guys to support me because that would be awesome. Like I say in all my videos, I do have an Instagram, a Twitter, and a Snapchat, so all of my social media will be down below if you guys are interested. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!